Today I'm going to show you how to create your own token for Roll20. First of all, we'll start by going to Google and typing in for the type of token you're after. I'm looking for a fighter, a male fighter, and then I'll download that and then I'll Google search for something called Token Stamp. Click on the first link that comes up and it brings you to this page. And then you click on the Choose Image tab, search for your picture and upload it to here. Um, resize it to the appropriate size that you like. Move it about and then you push download button to download it to your um, download folder. Next I'll go to roll 20 and launch a game. And then I will drag the file from my files folder onto the, the tabletop. So it's just a case of dragging and dropping. And you'll see it'll upload. The token is quite big and you can um, resize it by glabbing on the corners. But I'm just going to leave it how it is just now and we're going to replace the current Sid Longhorn token with this one. First you click on the tog and you select Sid Longhorn as a character. You give it a nameplate and bar one I'll, ex I'll look for HP and bar 2 it is AC. I go to dynamic lighting and give the character vision. If the character supports night vision you switch that one on as well. This one's a human so it doesn't. I'll then go into the journal after this and I will open the Sid Longhorn character sheet. Um, then I click on the edit button I remove the token, delete yes, and then use selected token. And now I'm going to click our avatar art, which is the same photo we downloaded earlier. And once that's uploaded, we save changes. Right, so I'm now going to delete the tokens on the canvas, or on the map I should say, and then drag Sig Long over. You see it's huge, so in order to fix that, We'll resize them to uh, 5 foot by dragging the corners. Now now it's resized, we still need to update that again in the character sheet. So we're going to open the Sid Longhorn character sheet again by double clicking. Um, click on the edit button. Remove the token. Delete yes. And then use selected token again. Save changes. Close this out. Remove the character again, and then drag an instance from the journal again. And now you can see it is a perfect size. I hope you have all enjoyed the tutorial and you have learned something. Thank you very much for watching.